Hello Pisces, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your money and career reading for the next 7 to 14 days. We're going to jump right in with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards. Then we'll do some Tarot, Tea Leaf Fortune and Quantum Oracle. All right, so your first card out is the Hawk and Messenger. It says, Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Beautiful. Time to ascend to new heights, Pisces. All right, and we have the tiger and fire energy. Beautiful. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Awesome. <clears throat> Know you have your spiritual team, okay? The mighty forces that come to your aid. Know that you always have your spiritual team. Okay, so let's go over to the Gilded Tarot for some money and career messages for you. Whoa. What do we have here? Judgments. Okay. So um, this is about moving on, okay? This is about choosing to move on, a, like in a big way, because this is the major arcana. Um, this is about a higher calling, and knowing that the past is the past, having the wisdom to know that, and um, moving on, being careful about the past creeping up on you, trying to suck you back into like the old and familiar, okay? You have to ask yourself, you know, do I really wanna go back there? Or do I wanna move forward on my journey, okay? Because there's a higher calling for you, but it's your choice, okay, if you wanna follow that or not so just be careful of like past people coming up past experiences coming up um and similar things like it might be a new thing but it's similar to something or similar to a person of the past so be very careful to use good judgment use discernment all right pisces what else do we have here for pisces all right, we have the Ace of Swords. We have a victory here, a victory and a new beginning, a victory that begins with an important truth coming forward, okay? And I'm getting somebody listening, like you find something out, like someone carelessly says something. They don't mean to, they don't want you to know this information and you're like, aha, I knew it. I rest my case. I'm over this. I'm, I'm going to stop trying to figure out this mystery. I'm going to stop trying to solve this case. I think someone's been um, trying to mislead you or keep you hooked by being mysterious. And all of a sudden you're like, ah, there's the truth. And that truth is going to set you free. You're going to be victorious. You're just going to move on. You're going to be healed from that. Okay, we have the high priestess. Beautiful. So um, the high priestess is very intuitive. Um, there could be a cancer in your charter in your life too. Um, she's very intuitive. She um, she's wise. It's, it's um, also about secrets, okay? Because I was just talking about secrets here. So a secret that is being brought to truth. You're gonna see the truth, okay? Um, on that note, or another note, I should say, another message is that um, this is working in silence. I'm connecting to your own intuition and then and then setting your foot forward, okay? Um, there's some quiet solitude needed here. You have a lot of wisdom and it's important that you don't share that with certain people. Don't don't share that you're wise to certain people, their actions, their um, their intentions. Don't show that you're wise to them. You're just starting to figure things out and you need to keep it to yourself. And for the most part, I think most of you are just gonna to need to walk away when you find out these truths. Quietly walk away because I think someone listening, you're dealing with someone who wants to be destructive. So if you call them out on this, they're gonna lie about it, they're gonna try and turn the tables on you, that kind of thing. You need, I'm seeing a very a very smug smirk on your face when you finally find out the truth and you just quietly move on, okay? Don't give them what they want and that's attention, whether it's positive or negative attention, don't give them that. Um, find your truth, go inside, figure this out and move on, but don't engage with that because we have this beautiful victory and this energy of moving on with a judgment card too here, okay? so. Um, 
And just be very careful, okay? Sometimes it's so easy to want to call someone out on something that they've done, but don't do that because that person, they'll take anything they can from you no matter what kind of attention it is. They just want to be able to say that you're in the wrong, even if you're in the right. And they're going to be mad at you if you call them out. And that will only make them like come after you further. So I'm not saying to be afraid of anything. This is just a bunch of petty stuff. And it can become bigger if you entertain this person or these people and it'll just hold you back. So it's important to be very aware, use your, your intuition and um, be quiet about the, the knowledge that you gain, okay? We have the 10 of swords, someone else just got this. You're at the end of this difficult cycle of feeling backstabbed and dragged down. You're at the end of this. There is something way better for you. This cycle is over if you let it be over. We see with a judgment card. If you let it be over, um, you know, stop, stop revisiting past situations, past personalities that um, are just not good for you. Listen to your higher calling. Move on to something new and fresh, okay? Um, it's up to you. You're at the end of the cycle if you allow it, if you allow it to be the end, okay? Healing, very big healing coming in because it's been very difficult, okay? And um, there's a big healing coming in here as you gain truth, okay? The truth definitely does set us free. All right, so we're going to clarify judgment. Judgment, the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, clarifying the Judgment card, we have the King of Swords. This could be an authority. This could be a judge. This could be a lawyer. Um, this could be someone that you know. It could be a friend who um, you talk to, you open up to, and they know the truth. They see the truth much more easily than you do because they're on the outside and they just say it. They just kind of call it out to you, like the truth about a situation or about what's going on with someone in your life. And because it's plain as day to them and then they reveal this to you from their perspective, that's what gives you clarity, okay? So that's for some of you, not all of you, but someone will gain their clarity in that way. And um, there could be a court situation going on. The truth is just going to get blown right out there. And this is a good thing. This is very important. This is very important. Always know that there is someone higher that you can go to. So if someone's trying to like lie to you, drag you down, um, there's always someone higher you can go to above them. Okay? They, they think that they're above you or they want to believe that they're above you but they are most certainly not. So it's time to stop interacting with that person and go higher, go to the manager, go to the supervisor, call a lawyer, right? That kind of thing. Because um, that's the only way you will get results and pull yourself out of this. But this is all good um, in relation to money and career. This could be someone you work with. Um, but I'm getting good things here because all of this truth is coming out and it's going to set you free. Um, I'm getting somebody listening, like um, you've been really battling someone at work a lot or they've been competing with you. I've been in a similar situation. They're like competing with you, but you're not really competing and you're, you're a threat to them for some reason because like you're a good worker and therefore they think it makes them look bad and they're hating that. So the truth of all of this is going to come out. You don't really need to do anything, but certainly speak up for yourself if it's necessary. So clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the moon, okay? So um, Pisces, this is you, okay? This is your energy. Um, this is manifestation. This is growth. Um, I'm getting abundance here too, even though the sun typically signifies abundance. I'm getting abundance here. And, um, you know, it's time to move forward. Follow what you know. You know, follow, follow what you know like a scavenger hunt, right? Um, like look for those hidden treasures, look for these little answers that guide the way. Don't worry about what's in the dark. Follow the moonlit path of truth. We, I'm getting truth here again. Follow the moonlit path. Um, there's a lot of wisdom to be gained, a lot of knowledge, knowledge about starting a new business. Maybe, um, I'm getting, um, continuing education will help you elevate in the workplace and move out of a department where it has been very unpleasant for you. And um, this education, right, um, having more credentials is going to um, help you gain a higher position, okay? And you're going to be in a much better um, work environment. 
All right, Pisces. Okay, clarifying the high priestess, we have the eight of swords. So know that a lot of this is self-imposed. Okay, if you blurt out this information that you receive, um, you know, you're you're going to be hurting yourself. You're going to be restricting yourself. If you are wise and keep this to yourself and only share it um, if, if it's needed to share with someone you trust, right? Um, that's how to go about this. If you blurt it out there, then you're sabotaging yourself and keeping yourself trapped. It's important to be wise and quiet about this, okay? Like not sneaky, um, but protect yourself, okay? Um, this is not about protecting yourself. This card is about self-imposed, sorry. Um, let me get that in focus. This is about self-imposed imposed restrictions. So you're doing things that are restricting yourself, Pisces. So you need to pay attention. All you need to do is be aware of that and you're free. Okay, so ask yourself, what am I doing to make things harder for myself? How can I stop doing this? Okay, I like that a lot. And clarifying the Ten of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so a lot of a lot of these things are worries that are um, not going to happen. Okay, and you're at the end of this. We've got the, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten. Eight, nine, ten. So we're going from self-imposed restriction to worrying, staying up late at night, to coming to the end of the cycle. Okay, you're done with this. You're working through it. It all starts here with taking the blindfold off. Stop restricting yourself. Look at the truth and handle the truth. Okay, and I'm seeing all this blue here. True blue. Whoops. Blue, blue, blue. True blue. And um, along with that, we have, um, I don't even know where these cards came from. Um, along with the color blue, I'm thinking of the throat chakra, which makes me think of communication. And more blue here with the king of swords. All the swords cards are blue, okay, obviously. But um, the color just jumped out at me, and there's a lot of blue in all of this artwork. Focus on your throat chakra. It's about communication, right? So communicate in the right places, okay? Communicate your truth where it can help you to who you can trust. Um, but also um, use your voice where necessary. Use your inner voice. Keep certain things away from others who have been trying to sabotage you or hurt you, okay? If that makes sense, okay? And um, we have the hawk and the messenger back here. Talk and messenger. I want to go back to this again. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. And where's where's my high priestess? Okay. This is about your inner vision, your greater vision. You need to open to this to see the signs and take the blindfold off that we saw in the Eight of Swords. Okay. Because all the information is right here for you. It's all right here for you. It's like it will bring you peace. It's just a matter of you allowing yourself to see it. Okay, and it's not as scary as you think. I mean, it's going to set you free. You need to set yourself free, okay? The sleepless nights will dissipate, you know. Um, it's a lot of the, a lot of it is fear of the unknown. Like, what's ahead, you know? I mean, it may have been hard up until now, but we ask ourselves, like, well, what is there ahead of me? I'm scared that, th that it's going to be more of the same because that's all I know. But the only way to shed that is to you know, consciously let go of it. Connect to your guides and angels. Call on God or source. However you pray, your guide and angels. And know you have a spiritual team. And look, we have the tiger here. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Okay, call on your spirit guide. Call on your angels. Okay, know that you have a spirit team that has your back. Have some trust and faith in them and yourself. All right, Pisces, see here we have again the angel. There's your guardian angel. I can't believe this. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Know that you're protected. You have to do your part protecting yourself, okay? And making healthy choices for yourself. We have the needle and thread. A, a sincere wish will be granted. Beautiful. A sincere wish will be granted. And we have the horseshoe. Oh, my gosh, good luck. Good luck in money and career, prosperity. Beautiful. It's, you have the power, Pisces. It's all on you. You can do this. All right. We're going to go over to the other half of this deck here. It's too hard to shuffle all at once. You should see the cards flipping all over the place when I try to do that. All right. So what else do we have for Pisces? 
Okay, the teapot, beautiful. A deep friendship with someone of the same sex. But what I get with this card is that it's just a deep friendship with anyone, okay? Someone you have strong camaraderie with. It could be a new person that you um, feel a nice soul connection with where like you just you feel like you've known this person forever or, or they're just easy to talk to, okay? Um, they're accepting of you. Um, they, they like you. They don't judge. And you like them in return. And it just feels good. And it's very validating. So that, that sounds really lovely, like um, you know, a new friend coming in. And it could be an acquaintance, okay? Um, this card does say a deep friendship, though. So it could be something that evolves into that. Got a flipper here. Okay, we got the axe. Forces working against you. So I was talking about that in the tarot part of the reading. Um, there might be someone in the in the workplace who feels threatened by you, and they're talking behind your back, and they're not going to get their way. You need to um, speak up where is appropriate okay like with a higher up um not with not directly with that person because they're not going to negotiate with you um you know what i mean they're not going to stop doing what they're doing they put on false errors so don't go to those person that person those persons whatever and you know um you'll know the difference here there's a strong contrast here there's someone here you cannot trust with the axe someone here you can trust with the teapot so those are extremes so this will help you to see where you can place your trust all right one more here for pisces we have the bull don't back down from opposition show strength and fortitude okay don't just sit there and take it so it shows strength and fortitude okay you have the power here look at that tiger back there okay you have the power here you have the strength all right we're going to go over to the quantum oracle deck and see what else we have for pisces Hope this is helping Pisces. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. I would greatly appreciate that. And remember to hit that like button. All right, what does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have the energy of events and the number seven. So if you like numerology, look up number seven. This is events and look what we have, deception there's deception going on in the workplace okay um it could be someone you're working with a, a co-worker this could have to do with um someone that's more like i'm getting a receptionist or something like that or um someone who's just really catty male or female and it doesn't seem like someone who would have any interest in talking about you behind your back but they are and they're being catty um with a co-worker saying things about you that um are not true sorry about that my phone is going off here sorry if you could hear that so this is just to be aware of it and put a stop to it now for those of you who have your own business i'm getting someone is like trying to play with their words and get you to give them a discount or um, act like they're putting in a complaint but it's not legitimate it can't hold water um, and it's important for you to, um, I want to say dismiss it because, um, they're, the way they approach you, it's not necessary to respond. They're trying to get you to admit to something that you didn't do. Okay. Ooh, be careful of that Pisces. I'm really loving this reading, even though it might not sound <laughs> that positive to you it is very positive because it's truth coming out it's like you're catching someone in the act before they can do anything and that's why i'm loving this reading and i think to many of you listening um like you're gonna know what i'm talking about okay we have another events card okay we have commitment this is a much better energy and the number three this is about collaboration um higher quality people um higher vibing people a new contract um, starting a business with somebody new possibly um, it could be with a friend it could be um, it could even be with like a family member that you feel like is a friend too or it could be um, you're starting out on your own doing your own like on your what am I trying to say you're starting your own business but you come across somebody who does the same thing that you do and you become friends that way and um, it's a nice friendship this could um, turn into a love commitment for some of you but not all of you okay one more message from here we have the um energy card and number eight so what do we have here we have seven three and eight so if you like numerology look this up we've got stuck energy so this is clarifying this the eight eight of swords 
okay? So it's up to you to get yourself unstuck, Pisces. You can do this, it's not as hard as it sounds, okay? You're in your power this week, or this the next couple of weeks with this moon energy, you're in your power. See this guy here, he is on his truck, he's stuck in the mud, he's like, oh well, now I went and did it, I'm just gonna stay here forever. When look, there's a rainbow behind him, there's a pot of gold behind him, he doesn't wanna look, he wants to just wallow in self-pity here right well that looks silly doesn't it because he can like jump off the hood of that truck onto the grass there where he's not going to sink go toward the light back here where the rainbow is there's promise the rainbow promise right um the gold um he's going to figure out a way if he chooses how to get unstuck okay i'm going to draw one more from here for you wait a minute let me just put that there all right You've got number six, fragmented energy. You're all over the place, Pisces. You're very scattered right now. Um, but you can pull this together. See all these puzzle pieces? Pull yourself together, Pisces. These messages are all really great um, because they're telling you what you need to do. It's all about how you view yourself. I was just saying this for another sign. It's all about your choices. You have the power. You pull yourself together and don't give your power to those who have ill will toward you, okay? reach out where you know in your gut, you know intuitively where you can trust, okay? And then pull all of these energies together. You'll feel whole again. You're gonna feel emotional and complete again. And I'm getting, um, for someone listening, you're gonna feel more complete than you have in maybe your whole life, okay? This is big. This is a big energy shift during this period of time right now, Pisces. Lots of truth coming out that you cannot ignore, okay? So make it easier on yourself and be open to the truth. Be open to the information that will help you. It's going to lift, you know, lift those bad dreams, those worries that you go to sleep with and wake up with, okay? Take action and you're spiritually guided, right? And there's good luck coming your way. I'm going to show you this angel again, okay? You're protected. All right, Pisces, some seriously deep messages here. Please comment below if you wish. That would be very nice and supportive to everybody listening. Thanks so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.